What's going on, everyone? This is Peter Jennings, and I go by CSU Ram 88 across the daily fantasy industry. And I'm back again here at Fantasy Labs doing a lineup review. I thought it would be fun to review the mega qualifier, the $5,300 buy in uh, that rewards five seats to the New York Fantasy Football World Championship. Uh, still chasing some seats, as are a lot of other guys. Uh, you can enter this twice. I decided to enter it once because my best friend actually got married this weekend. Uh, it was one of the more challenging lineup uh, sessions I've ever had. I wanted to be responsible, did work all week, but had to really make my final decisions at 4 a.m. West Coast time after uh, some fun festivities. But I feel relatively good about my process, and it was a pretty straightforward week. Um, the interesting thing specifically about this tournament is I was uh, looking like I was potentially going to get a seat. Things were kind of going my way initially because I needed Antonio Brown to have a big game and it's kind of fading everyone else in the Kansas City Pittsburgh game, and the last Le'Veon Bell run catapulted uh, a ton of people. Uh, as you'll see here uh, in a second, the standings were very close. So it was fun. Uh, some some great lineups. Uh, obviously, a lot of the best players in the world were in this contest, and uh, I'll kind of go through my thought process on why I made the team I did. So I went with the cousin stack, and this was my main cash game quarterback as well. Uh, I had a couple other guys in some bigger tournaments, but I really wanted in the main um, qualifier to go with Kirk Cousins, especially since it paid five spots. So it wasn't just winner take all. Um, you know, you didn't have to go completely contrarian, in my opinion, at the quarterback position. And Cousins came in at 19% out, and I'm totally fine with that. I thought he was my favorite quarterback, uh, points per dollar, and I loved the upside that he had at home. Uh, I took Jordan Howard as my next play. Uh, he was a really popular pick. All the running backs were from Howard to Hyde, um, then obviously Melvin Gordon, Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson. Uh, I kind of basically went through the five of those guys. Um, the one thing that I did here is I added Will Fuller, who I, I didn't have in cash games, but I really liked for tournaments. Uh, I've talked about him quite a bit just in general. Had a fantastic game uh, with a punt return TD as well. Showing a ton of upside there in Houston, and uh, I think he's going to continue to be a big play option and uh, a viable viable tournament play uh, pretty much every single week. So I like him. I've been touting him for a while. I'm kind of a sucker for the young rookies uh, or the younger players in general or the good athletes, but feel really good about him. And I did hear a stat um, before the Sunday night game. They have uh, basically uh, microchips in their shoulder pads now. And Will Fuller was the fastest player in week four um, at 21 miles an hour. So he has breakaway speed at any point in time, and that's obviously great in tournaments. Uh, speaking of breakaway speed, Deshaun Jackson has that, and that is the main reason this lineup did not uh, qualify for New York. Um, <laughs> he had a dud. I don't regret it. I, I think I played him on uh, maybe one leagues team or something like that across the industry. I uh, don't really – Deshaun Jackson, any Redskins pass catcher is tough to play in cash, but uh, I definitely think in this spot is a great play, especially with Cousins going to Deshaun Jackson and Jordan Reed, who I'll talk about in a second. Uh, next is Terrell Pryor. I did this for game flow. I knew he was going to be heavily owned, but uh, if you're going Cousins, I thought it made sense to go Pryor, hoping to get kind of a, a big game from uh, everybody in this, this spot. Hopes that uh, there's a lot of points. And there ended up being 51 points, which is nice. Uh, Jordan Reed obviously had a great game, finally got in the end zone twice, uh, a ton of upside there. Antonio Brown, and then my Broncos defense at 15%, and that was my favorite tournament defense. Uh, I'm a huge Broncos fan, but you can pretty much play them against anyone, and it's not a bad play. Uh, I think it's the best defense in the NFL. Uh, the Vikings are, are catching up here, um, and there certainly are other good, other good defenses, but I'll take the Broncos pretty much any week, and going against Tampa... Uh, I think is a pretty good matchup as well, even though it was in Tampa uh, because Jameis Winston uh, has a tendency to throw some interceptions. So that's the team. Um, as you can see here, the standings were super close. So between third and tenth uh, was six points. And congrats to King Dan. He got there with the Le'Veon Bell uh, final run. And I think Ray Hope got there as well. Um, so congrats to them. Certainly two of the best players in the industry. Big shout out to Kunu88 who had uh, Julio Jones at 6% here. Uh, so just taking a look at some ownership and some really good players. Ponosaurus, another great player. A uh, really good team here with Ben Roethlisberger. Um, so congrats to him as well. Um, but fun, fun uh, tournament nonetheless. Definitely some interesting ownership. 
and uh, certainly was a, a fun sweat uh, up into Sunday Night Football. So hope this was helpful for you guys, and of course, uh, looking to see more Fantasy Lab subscribers at the top of the leaderboard.